Recognizing text in an image. In this section, we solve the problem of scene text detection. A scene text detection is a well-known problem in vision and has numerous applications like license plate reading in traffic camps, real-time language translation, reading addresses from a postcard, etc. There are data entry operators whose only job is to read text and enter it into PC. Imagine if we find a perfect solution to this problem. We can save a lot of human resources. In this problem, we take some images with texts in it and our task is to detect and recognize the text content in the images. To solve this, we use the contour information to detect the text and recognize it by using a deep learning network. Problem definition and gathering data set. In this video, we form our problem definition and make a database which we will be using for training and testing. Now if you google the word quotes, you will find images with some minimal background and some inspirational quotes written over it. These are some sample images that I got from internet. We will be using these images for our text recognition problem and our job is to extract the text out of these images. Now this is not a real life problem because the text is computer generated and it's not handwritten. Plus the text is written in the same line and very proper with each character separated from another. A real life text detection is a very complex problem. One which even big companies like Google are not able to perfect. So we restrict ourselves to a simplified version. To tackle this, we divide the problem into two separate tasks. First is the text detection which detect text like objects from the image and another is a text recognition problem which will work on these text like objects and recognize which characters it resembles to. We will be using conventional computer vision functions for the former problem and it won't require any training data. The later part is a typical OCR problem. Now there are several python libraries like tesseract OCR, PyOCR which does this job and we can use it for our problem. But we will use our deep learning knowledge and implement the algorithm using CAFE. Let's look at the dataset which we are going to use. We will use the CAR74K dataset provided by University of Surrey to get images from all 62 character classes that is 0 to 9, small a to z and capital A to z. It has around 7000 images per class consisting of photographs and computer generated character images. This data will be sufficient for our problem to classify the character. Now let's quickly glance at the code to form the LMDB database. Since you are already familiar with most of the stuff, I will just give an overview rather than explaining each step. Let's have a look at the data set. So here we have the folders for all 62 classes and in each class consists of around 100 to 110 images or in this case we have 300 images for the character T. Similarly in another class let's say 14 we have the images corresponding to the character capital D. Now in this small section of code we take all these images from different folder and store it to a common path so that it's easier to make the LMDB database. We also do some small formatting in the image name such that the class label is also stored in it. Now the result of this code, we will have a folder created called images in which all the images from different classes from 0, A till small z will be stored to single location and the naming of each image is done such that the class label is written on it. So the class Z will correspond to the class label 62 and the class capital T corresponds to the class label 30 and so on. And also each image is converted into grayscale. In the next code, we give this new path and read these images to get a database. So we declare a map size. Since all the images are converted to grayscale, 
and a pixel value of 50 by 50 that is the image size of 50 by 50 this will be our map size value we will decode the string label from the name and feed it into the label of the datum object and the other things are similar we also resize we read the image from the path and resize it to 50 cross 50 pixels before storing it in the database so now we have the database stored in the project folder.